Previously on Crescent Moon, The Demon's Nightfall. Ah! I I'm in the wall! Help! Major bug! Major bug! Ah, I'm stuck! Help me! Ah, crap, I'm gonna have to start over. I just got attacked by the darkness. And I didn't even get to use magic missile on him. Also, I turned into Inuyasha. What the hell? Oh, goody. Now I got Tinkerbell following me. Where am I going? What am I doing? I got lemonade in a box. Do not enter not properly equipped. Now you tell me. Um, he pulled it from his ass. I don't know. Uh, this had to go to the left, right? You lied to me. And suddenly I walked into the Breath of Fire 3 fairy world. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. That is not home. Hey, you're not who I thought you were. I'm saving it for marriage. All is lost promised me one thing that I won't be forgotten. To be continued in the game, Crescent Moon, the Jujin Children. Greetings and salutations, viewers. I'm Star Princess HLC, and this is Crescent Moon, the Jujin Children. This is, in fact, part two of the Crescent Moon saga made by Ashpash209. You remember I did uh, the first half of it, The Demon's Nightfall. This one is a little bit different. This one is actually horror-based, whereas the other one was fantasy-based. So, let's check this out. Uh, apparently we're living with our grandma, who has a monocle. Oh, apparently that whole thing was a dream. The Super Mario Bros. 2 cop-out. And we're in a new school, apparently. And apparently we are a troublemaker. That's not a little ominous, Grandma. She's as crazy as Aunt Polly from Orion Burger. Alright, I'm getting up. Meh. I got a key and a flashlight for some reason. Why do you have these? Okay, so... Your parents are dead, and that's why you're living with Grandma. Not because you're a behavior child, and they're like, maybe living with an old person will sober you up. I got water! Yay! I wasn't asking you, Grandma. Chances are you'd guess in a car accident anyway. Anyway, I'm out of here. I'm going to my pajamas. Wait, what? Huh? Hey, it's you! So... It's the Anders clone! Hi, Anders clone! And apparently the school's got people who like to whisper. So I guess our uh, our dream, if it actually was a dream, influenced our real world. Well, actually, usually dreams they kind of the real world kind of does influence our dreams somewhat. Like you could have a dream about someone that you just randomly met on the street. And Vincent Valentine, what are you doing in this game? Why is your hair silver? You're supposed to be you know supposed to have black hair. Um, oh, so we know this guy already. Hi. Let's go. By the way, you're dressed kind of fancy and suave for a school. You'd think they'd all have uniforms or something. Okay, so I gotta go talk to people? Alright, fine. Hi, you two.
Well, that was a riveting conversation. How about you two? Squall, Leonhard, what are you doing in this game? Hey, you're supposed to be flirting with Renoa, not whoever this girl is. How about you two? Elton John, what are you doing in this game? Like reading, I'm assuming, because you have to cover your face with a book. I wonder what book it is. It's probably Twilight. You're freaky looking. Hello. You look somewhat normal. And she randomly gives me her pendant. I don't know why. Um, yeah, okay. I thought he was just randomly singing to himself, like, I'm crazy! I, yeah, I kinda tried, nobody wanted to talk. And the one girl just randomly gave me her pendant. Yeah, alright, I'll keep it. Yeah, I'm surprised, you, most kids, if their teacher is late, they would probably be, like, out of their seats, talking, running around, making a mess. No, you're not Squall, you're just emo. Oh, um, that's morbid of you to say. What wolves? You're in the city! Wait, what? Um, you're you're gonna tell us, aren't you? Thank you for your input, Elton. Now you probably read things that you know most teenagers would probably not be allowed to read. Yeah, why the lights turn off? Um, that was probably one of the. Oh, don't lie, it wasn't you. Uh, that's what happens when the lights go out. Strangely enough, I have a flashlight for some reason. What? What happened? Oh dear, we got ourselves a murderer on the loose. Hey, Squall, you get your ass back here now. Oh, you can't leave. We're all gonna die! No, that'll probably be me. Yeah, I don't know why I, my grandma has this key. It's suspicious, but okay. Yay, it worked! Okay, so I'm going out wandering and... It's the Atomical Model for Corpse Party! Kazami, is that you? It's a real person! And it's disgusting! And it's laughing at me! Why are you laughing at me? Stop laughing at me! Yeah, I think I should go and... Whoa! What happened to this place? Everybody's dead. And they're all dressed funny. Oh no, they spilled the paint! Why did they spill the paint? It's so expensive! Number 235 are written here. And there's a note. I'll take the note. Why the hell not? And is that a brain on the floor? Mother brain! I knew it! Yeah, everybody's dressed funny. Are you okay, buddy? Who killed them? Okay, everyone was in costumes. Good excuse. Anyway. I can walk through tables. But yeah, let's get the heck out of this place. Hey, Bo. Oh, of course, they all ran out, and... Yeah, this is bad. This is very bad. Uh... Yeah, that song is kind of creepy. Yeah, I, I'd say we should leave, too. Stop laughing at me! 
Oh dear. Okay, we're out of here. Bye. Can I save? I can save. Good. I'm probably gonna need to save. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay, that's my sanity meter. It's just shaped like a brain. That's nice to know. Okay. Oh, hey. Um, yeah, well, who damaged the floor? Um, I don't trust this. Yeah, this is like, yeah, I thought. Possession! No, go away, I don't want any! Huh? Princess? Are you telling me that that dream was real? Okay, we're checking classrooms. Let's go in this one first. The nurse's room, huh? Okay, easy. Oh, hole in the floor. Can't go that way. Come on. What am I looking for exactly? There's a clock. Time marches on and it's a... Uh... Dude, it's probably just plastic. Oh, it's real. And we got a bow. Thanks, I got a bow. And not the ones that I can use to shoot people with. Alright, I'm getting out of here. I don't think there's anything else to do here unless that thing just, like, comes to life and attacks me! Boy, the sound effects in this place are weird. What? No! What the heck just happened? No! Not Aaron! I liked him! He was sweet! Crap, I'm stuck with the flirty Anders reject. Who may or may not also be related to Alistair. Fairy nurse! You got chased by the Grim Reaper? We give you a... Why? Okay. Bye. Did I actually get anything? Hang on. Okay, I got a wooden plank. No indication I got it, but okay. The only other place I could think of is because we went in those two rooms. It's gotta be over here. Plank of wood! Alright, hang on. Let me just save really quick. Let me save in a separate spot in case I wasn't supposed to kill off Bo. Or Aaron. Grandma, I knew you were behind this. It's like Grandma's house all over again. Why do you want the pendant? I don't trust you, Grandma. Yeah, exactly. How'd she get into school? What the heck's going on? Um. You know what? I'm giving it to Bo. Because I don't trust you. Ah! Go away! What? What? No! Not him too! Damn it! I keep losing everyone! Everything I touch dies! Oh, this place opened up. Save! Again, in case that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, goody. We got hangers. Oh, hey, it's you too. Yeah, I was gonna say, we've been better. Our school's kinda haunted. Some of our friends are dead. And now I got Elton John and a bookworm following me. Yeah, that's a lot of dead bodies. Oh god, I have to go searching through them? Ugh, figures. Okay, fine. 
Anything here? Ah! Damn, I hate that noise! Ugh. Half of a key. Thanks. God, they did that in PewDiePie's Amnesia Adventures, too, and it startled me then. It's just a bang, but ugh. Oh, hey, Vincent. Um, I, I, um, what? <laughs> what? You're killing everyone? Why? I knew you were weird, but come on. What? Wait, what? <laughs> Okay, this is getting weird. Oh, hey, it's the music dude. You're not gonna... Wait, what? Did I literally just kill somebody? Oh, thanks. Why are you... Do you mind? This is getting creepy. Just jump scare after jump scare. Squall! What? I am confused beyond repair. Everyone's just like, kill me! Silly girl, I always think that? What? What? Oh, hey! It's the darkness! Magic missile! Yeah, really. I'm in hell? So, wait, I'm dead? Wait, what? Hey, you're all right! So you're the king's brother, you're not the king's bastard. I am prepared to save and protect all in my kingdom. None shall be lost in darkness any longer. To be continued in the game Crescent Moon, Mark of the Wolves. I think that one was even slightly more shorter than the other one. Hey look, I'm walking backwards. Eee, I'm moonlocking. Wee! Um... Okay, well... That was definitely different from the previous one. It definitely gave me a few jumps. Had a few little bugs, but... Nothing too bad. But there you go, that was the Jujin Children. Stay tuned for probably the third and final part of the Crescent Moon Saga, when that will be, is anyone's guess. But either way, this is Star Princess HLC saying thank you very much for watching, and have a fond farewell.